Welcome back, everybody, to Farming Simulator on the Silver to Run Forest map. I'm an old guy gaming. And in this episode, we are going to get back to logging and um, get some money made. We have to pay off a $300,000 loan uh, because I had to borrow that much money to finish our property here. Uh, you may notice since the last video, too, that I've made a couple of changes. So let's take a look at those first before we do anything else. Uh, so what I have done here is I've added a workshop and this is uh, the same model of workshop that comes with the Elm Creek farm, except for that it's an actual working workshop. So it's got a trigger inside there and I can pull along here and repair vehicles. But otherwise it's exactly the same, except for that this is a brown one instead of a red one. So I put that in. Uh, let's see, that costs me, that's in building and tools. Uh, so that cost me twenty thousand dollars. It's from the American Farm Buildings Pack. Okay, so we put that in. I decided to remove the carport that I had, and I put this shed in here um, too. Okay, so we got that now. I, I just like this better uh, for a garage for our vehicles up here. I also put like a little metal shed here, just just for the heck of it. Or something to put in there and that's um pretty much it oh and then of course i've moved all of my equipment up here uh to the big shed and have pretty much everything up here except for the items that are down at our farm okay so yeah that's pretty much where we are at this point in time i have seventy five thousand one hundred and twenty nine dollars and so what we're going to do with that money is we are going to purchase farm land or lumber land or whatever you want to call it 11 farmland 11 yeah uh, i can i can still pay cash for that there's not going to leave me much money left but there's a decent amount of timber on this land it's not like chocked full like the map makes it look but it's still a pretty decent amount of timber um it, you know nine and ten the two plots that i currently own this is mostly redwoods and there's just not a, actually a lot of timber on this land and i mentioned earlier that I want to leave, I kind of want to leave this alone anyway. Uh, so, you know, the place where our home is, is kind of stays pristine, if you will. Uh, so I probably won't do a lot of logging around the house at all. I might do a little bit of logging kind of around in these areas, pull some of the, you know, the more worthwhile trees out. Uh, but as we get closer to the house, we'll do less and less impact on the land there. So let's go ahead and purchase 11. Okay, and then that, uh, we own that now. And um, yeah, so we're gonna start logging it. That only leaves me a balance of $4,400. We might need to borrow just a little bit more money from the bank. And I also moved my shop um, up here because I have the, uh, the deliveries mod. So now when we purchase things, it'll cost us a delivery fee, but the store will deliver it to us up here at our property um, right here in this open area. Okay, so let's see. I guess the first step now then is going to be that we're going to need to go do some clearing. Uh, I do want to once again lease the tree devourer. And I'm starting to think, I haven't even looked to see what's in the sales here. Oh, that's an electric telehandler. That's kind of cool. We got a plow. We got the smaller... Um, <clears throat> yarder there a forage wagon which we don't need in this series so okay not really anything there i think we need so let's go here and a forestry equipment and we're going to get this devourer again and we're going to uh, get the you know the the one with the pipe and the capacity for five thousand and we're going to lease this oh we don't have enough money to lease it how much is it to lease? Well, you know what? We're going to also need to get some containers too. So we're just going to have to borrow some more money. That's all there is to it. Kind of sucks, but it is what it is. So let's go into here. We're already $300,000 in the hole, but we'll we'll fix that. That won't take long at all to fix once we start logging again. So uh, let's borrow another 20000 I guess. And we'll see if that if we can get away with that without borrowing any more. Okay, so let's go ahead and get that set up, and then we'll lease this. 
for $6,300. Okay, so we got that. And we are going to need, like I said, we're going to need some containers, but we don't need necessarily need those right away because what we'll do is we'll fill this up uh, with wood chips using the IT runner. And I'll probably just go dump those wood chips over at the lumber mill where the other wood chips are. And I think in January, that's when the wood chips have the highest price. So if we look here, we got wood chips. Yeah, so January will be the time to sell. Um, and there's a huge price fluctuation. So we'll make some decent money. And, and remember too, if you guys don't remember, I've got a big pile of wood chips down by the store when we uh, logged this property over here. So sitting, uh, sitting somewhere over here, I think in this area or maybe this area, I got a big pile of wood chips that we'll pick up and load up uh, in January. Now we have a bunch of productions going too. And you know, as time goes by, we'll, we'll be making money from that stuff too. It's, it's only November 3rd and I do want to start moving the time forward more quickly than I have been so far in this series. But before we really start doing that majorly, I, I think I want to get, you know, get that either out of debt or at least get it knocked down because we're going to be paying a lot of interest otherwise on uh, the debt as it is. Okay, so let's go ahead and jump on in the tractor here. And I do need to repair some stuff. And I'll probably eventually put a, a fuel tank up here too, like a big bulk fuel tank. But money's, you know, kind of tight at the moment, so uh, we won't be doing any of that stuff just quite yet. We gotta we gotta get out of out of this debt and get, get some operating cash back first before we start thinking about those sorts of things. But I am pretty much done with the place up here. I've, I've done everything that I wanted to do, and I'm really happy with, you know, how it turned out. And this is going to be our home for the rest of this playthrough. Okay, so let's bring that down. Whoops. Okay, cool. So we'll hook up to the IT runner over here. And we're just going to go through and we're going to remove all the dead trees and all the scrub trees. All the crap trees, basically. And then I'll go through again with the mulcher and get rid of, you know, a good portion of the underbrush. Before we start uh, logging in earnest. I think I need to pull forward just a little bit there. Yeah, we'll just we'll just dump these chips right over at the lumber mill where the other ones are. We'll make a pretty decent amount of money, I think, off the chips in January. Okay. So let's head on over uh, to the new property and start getting rid of the, the crap trees and the deadwood trees.
Right, guys that fills us up 95,000 liters pretty good I, I knew that big elm tree was gonna <laughs> get us close uh, so we still have a little bit of stuff to get kind of along the foot of the hill here and maybe a few things over here but I think we got the majority of it already uh, for the most part anyway so let's drive over this way on our way over to the lumber mill I'm sure I missed a few trees here and there I usually do but uh, we definitely got the bulk of them and we can always you know get the get the other ones later on there's a little tree right there that we didn't get I think I got most of the oops uh, most of the dead trees We did a pretty good job, I think, of, you know, clearing all the small trees and the dead trees and the trap trees along in through here. I'm not, uh, not spotting any that are jumping out at me. So, yeah. All right, well, let's go drop this off at the lumber mill. And then, um, like I said, we have a little bit to do along the southern edge of the property along the river there and uh, then we'll yeah we'll get that done and then move on to the next thing the pipe keeps filling it up from the here actually let's turn that pipe off and I want to get this back in further Okay, now let's pull forward and back into here. Okay, now we'll have the pipe fill the trailer again. Okay, now let's back it up to here. And that looks like that's it. Okay, good. Good, good, good. Oh, here comes more chips from the mill, too. Cool. <laughs> that's the first time I've seen that. All right, so, yeah, I'm going to go back and get uh, the rest of the stuff along the river on the south end of the property there. And then when that's finished, the next step will be to I think I'll run the, the brush cutter uh, th through the property too a little bit just to knock some of the brush down I'm not, I'm not going to try and get every last piece of it but 
probably get some of it down anyways and then when that's done then we can start the logging all right guys we are just about uh, finished knocking down the brush here I got a good portion of it didn't get all of it of course but enough to you know clear the land and make the logging a little bit easier so just kind of getting this last little bit down along through here and then we'll put this thing away and bring out the logging gear this mower does leave a bunch of little patches of grass <laughs> on the ground but I don't know they, it, they, it kind of makes it look like you know moss or little small bushes so if you don't look too closely at it it adds to the flavor of the of the ground there it also because I have the dirt mod on it also stains my <laughs> equipment green you know grass stains which is kind of funny but yeah we've done a pretty good job of clearing you know the small trees the crap trees the brush off of this property and of course that's just gonna make the logging uh, a lot easier to do oh, I was hoping I could kind of scooch through there there we go but this is a nice uh, implement this batwing mower for for this purpose but you have to also have the real mower mod installed too for it to actually you know to work fully in other words uh, it's not gonna mow brush without that because you know the game the base game doesn't see brush as grass and this is technically a mower well it's supposed to be a mower and a mulcher rock's going to be in the way there we could swing around this way I suppose and come through here I just want to get this little patch of grass over this way there's always more to get and again it wasn't my goal to get every last bit of it either in fact I don't want to get every last bit of it I like some of the brush to be in place just because it looks good okay I think that's gonna get the job done for us maybe we'll hit a couple more of these right through here yeah let's call that good Okay, I'm gonna head back to the ranch and we're gonna get, uh, we need to get a container purchased and get uh, the, uh, the, the, the harvester going. And I think what we'll do, I haven't decided exactly where our landing's gonna be yet. It might, at least for starters, we might have it just right here because it's relatively flat and we could even use some of the redwoods to lean the timber up against so yeah we'll probably just start on this end have a few logs over here you know from the property too that we'll need to cut to size and load up man this machine is cool it really does feel like you're inside of a spaceship the cockpit of a fighter a starfighter very cool uh, we'll probably actually start with these logs um, but we also have to get the truck out here with a container going too so let's just park this on the side for the moment And we'll get it un, uh, unfolded here. Actually, here, I'm going to leave the truck there for a second. And let's go into the store and purchase a container. And we'll make this one green. We'll go with Lizard Forestry. It's a 12 meter and we'll buy that 
I'm just going to do one at a time just because I don't have the cash to buy a bunch of them. Okay, so that's where it stages at the doors on that end. Okay, let's head on down to the logging site. I'll probably end up taking some of the timber off of the property to the left also at some point. But right now we just need to go after the ponderosas and the lodge poles for the money. I, I, I don't sell the spruce anymore. I just put those in my mill. Okay, so we'll keep that guy there. And I think what we'll do now is we'll trim up these logs here to length. What we'll do is we'll kind of grab them and then swing them over this way. Big old Ponderosa. Okay, that piece there is going to be a six meter. So why don't we put the six meters over here for now? not a dead log, is it? Oh, it is dead. All right, we don't want dead wood. So is that. All right, we're not putting those in the container. So we'll have to get those out of there. Looks like we have another, actually we have quite a few more that are facing the other direction. So let's see if we can get the rest of the ones that are on this end first. No, I wrong, grabbed that from the wrong side. Okay, what we're going to do then is we're going to do this. Up to 12 meters.
Okay, we have one more log just up the road here a little ways. Let's go grab that as well. Alright, let's twist the head the other direction. Hopefully it doesn't get bound up here. Yeah, we got it. Okay, cool. Okay, so that takes care of all the wood on the ground that we had previously. So why don't we grab a few more trees from up here uh, I don't want spruce or pine, I only want lodgepole or ponderosa. And it is getting dark too, isn't it? Uh, just so we get enough for hopefully a full trailer load. Let's start with this guy here. Okay, I'm thinking two more, two more trees and then we'll probably have enough for a container load. Ah, nuts, I forgot to adjust this. Alright, we'll just turn all these into six meters. We'll still get the same money for them, so it's not like we wasted anything. Let's see if that's enough to get a full container. Gonna be close. Nope, not quite enough. All right, we're gonna have to bring down a few more trees here. Oh wait, we do have, we have some up the road too. I forgot about that. Let's go grab those. That might be enough to get her done.
There we go. We got a full trailer. With one to spare. Alright, let's run this down and get it sold and then knock off a chunk of our bank loan. All right, $104,239. Before we pay the bank off, we're going to go get another container. In fact, let's get a... Uh, we'll get a 12 meter. And I also want to get a 6 meter. Good. Okay. Let's go into here and start paying this back. I don't want to give up all of my money, but we'll bring it down to about 23,000. Okay. So now we're only 240,000 and that'll cut down on the on the interest that we have to pay. Uh, when it rolls over to the next day. All right, you guys. Well, I'm going to let you go here, and I'm going to keep logging the property and keep chipping away at getting this loan paid off. And then um, once the loan's completely paid off, and we'll probably just finish logging the property entirely and then get it replanted, you know, do the usual. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to start speeding up time and moving you know moving through the months a little faster so that we can start getting stuff you know uh, from our productions got a little bit of product over there work on the roller coaster and um, you know start advancing in that way too so with that being said I hope you guys enjoyed the episode if you did please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel leave a comment and share out the video here's the road and I will catch you in the next episode oh by the way this will probably be the last episode i get out before new year so i want to wish all of you a happy fun and safe new year all right we'll see you next time bye bye